in this situation with hypoxia, the, one of the procedures you got to know is what are my symptoms. And until I'm in the environment feeling the symptoms, I don't really know. So what we've done here is we've combined the ROBD with a high fidelity simulator, put F-18 pilots in their own environment, give them a task that's very hard to do, and then get them hypoxic at the same time. And let's set up for a quantity four release profile A. The purpose was to really just introduce you to what your symptoms for hypoxia would be uh, if you were to have a situation where reduced oxygen breathing capability. So by doing the hypoxia training in conjunction with a very uh, labor intensive or task intensive uh, flight simulation, it allows them to get further into the hypoxia training and really feel the full effects of that lack of oxygen. We start to see decrements in motor and um, mental performance, uh, speech intelligibility, response times to certain uh, air traffic control calls, uh, and then basic um, you know, motor skills to fly the aircraft. So I was kind of gasping for air a little bit, and then I, I got a little bit lightheaded. It was pretty eye-opening because uh, my symptoms don't really present themselves gradually. I get my blood oxygen level goes pretty low before I actually know that it's happening, and so the symptoms hit me pretty bad. Uh, so I got really lightheaded, uh, slow reaction time, and my breathing got really, really fast. And you've got oxygen flowing. Just let us know when you're feeling better. I am feeling a little bit better. When you see that happening to yourself, that's kind of your cue that, okay, hey, it's time to knock off what we're doing. We're done testing for the day. I need to execute my emergency procedures and get the jet back on deck and just be safe. Having the actual cockpit layout and the actual mission profile loaded in in conjunction with the hypoxia training for the air crew's response is, is much more beneficial to them uh, on how far they would take a certain mission knowing that there may or may not be something wrong with them. And this, doing a extremely high speed, doing a dive delivery, essentially pointing at the ground it's a much more task load, much more dangerous situation, so you're, uh, it's definitely more intense. Uh, it kind of catches you by surprise when you do show symptoms of hypoxia when you're going, you know, 500 knots pointed at the ground. It kind of gets your attention. I actually felt worse when I felt the oxygen coming through. How are you feeling now? Better. Because this is about as close as it's going to be, so as long as they can recognize it here, hopefully they'll recognize it early if it does happen to them in the jet. It's good to see, uh, based on body type, based on uh, physical makeup and fitness levels, how each individual responds to a decrement in oxygen, how quickly they're able to recognize that, the different symptoms that each individual experiences, and then how fast they recover from hypoxia once they pull the emergency oxygen supply. It was just good for me to know what my symptoms are. Um, you know, we can go through the lectures and they can say, hey, these are the symptoms that you might see, um, but I think everybody's different, so the symptoms are going to present differently. And so for me, it was just good for me to know that I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing uh, because it happens quickly for me. 